Salam. I went to sleep at 5 a.m. Woke up at 10, feeling some type of way, a little bit brain fogged. So uh, today we're going to study at the library, to work at the library with Mo and Manta. And yeah, Mo told me that to uh, book an appointment at the library as soon as possible. So uh, at like 11.30, because he told me that I would go to pick him up at the garage at 11. And uh, Momo is black, you know, so when a black person tells you that you need to do something at like 11, it's actually like you need to add like an extra hour, I would even say an hour and a half. We booked the, the, the room in the library for 12. Actually, it took 12 because Momo is always late because he's black. What? Yeah, he told me that he was going to be there at 11. It's currently uh, 1051. I'm pretty sure that he won't be there at 11 because I know him. But yeah, so uh, now I'm about to uh, code to uh, add um, a dialogue. And uh, yeah. So I'm with my boy Momo right now. Momo, my dog, computer scientist. We studied together, been knowing this guy for over 12 years. And yeah, he's the brain of the operation. He's the one that came up with the AI agent. Momo, what is your name? Momo. <laughs> so uh, what made you create this, uh, this uh, AI agent? So I came across uh, the internet uh, one day. Then I explored. I saw that uh, there was an opportunity to make big bucks. And uh, I said, hey, let's make big bucks with my friends. So we went out and we were trying to make big bucks right now. So uh, we're about to make big bucks, inshallah. Inshallah. And uh, also, uh, you know, I've noticed, I'm actually proud of you today. You actually came in time. Yes, yes, yes. Um, it is something that I struggle with as a black person. I had something else in mind, but it failed. So it forced me to be on time. So I just told him that I was on time, but obviously it was because of something else. <laughs> so now we're about to be on time. What are the plans for today? Uh, the plans for today is to code, 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 and ship, ship, ship. It's time to get to the grind. Exactly. Okay. Thank you for your time, Mo. No problem, okay? So uh, right now we came back home because the library has closed. We ate. Now uh, it's back to the grind. Um, now it's time to pray. I said now so many times. We grinded. Now it's time to pray, and then we'll go play basketball real quick, real quick, and then we'll get back to work. We actually realized that it's super nice to work in in group. It's faster. It's easier to ask questions because Momo mostly work on the back end, and I mostly work on the front end. So whenever there's, there's something wrong with the back end, I can just like ask him, or if there's something I don't understand, I can just ask him, and like he's right there to tell me. And yeah, I think we think that we're gonna do this way more often, like every weekend. Because on the week we have like other things to do, especially Mo, he works. So, uh, yeah. In the beginning. In the beginning. In the beginning. <laughs> in the I just woke up from a nap. It's currently 1 a.m. So, uh, yeah, I feel super good, honestly. And do you guys know that taking a nap is sunnah? It's so beautiful, man. Everything that I practice in personal development is sunnah. Most of the things that I practice is sunnah, you know? So, it's, I really love Islam, man. Islam changed my life. So, uh, now I'm about to go and code some more. I'll probably code until like 5 a.m. Then I'll wake up at around 10 so we can go to the library with the guys again. And I just wanted to mention something. I'm really grateful for having my guys. You know these guys, like I, I grew up with them. Like I've known them for more than 12 years and these are my family, man. And it's the first time that we link up so we can work together. And we all felt that strong energy, you know? It's such a vibe. Imagine when we're gonna be making money with our business, with our software. This lifestyle of like just hanging, chilling together while working, going to eat together, going to the matches together. Imagine how, how peaceful that would be. I love life so much when I don't have school. It's just next level thing. It's a whole other vibe. I love it, man. I feel good. I feel lighthearted. I feel blessed. 
Alhamdulillah, honestly, I'm grateful for this. To be able to just, just do whatever I want with no pressure and like, focus on the grind. And you know, I see left, I look left and right, people my age, all they think about is partying, having fun, running after women. They're missing out, man. This lifestyle of like just staying close to God, having a small circle, spending time with that small circle, building that relationship. It is so powerful. It is so satisfying. It is so gratifying, you know? Alhamdulillah for this lifestyle, honestly. Alhamdulillah for Islam. Alhamdulillah for my friends. Alhamdulillah for my family, for my mom. You know, and I started to realize something like, you know, my mom, she, she's not, she like, she doesn't live with me. And now she's like on vacation. So she came back and you know, I was, I went upstairs, you know, I'm always like in my room, just working, coding. And like, I went upstairs, you know, and I work on the fish business with her. So that's beautiful too. I went upstairs and I saw her and like, she was, she was watching TV, you know, by herself. And I, I, I felt bad, honestly. I was like, yo, she came back and like, you know, she does all these things Like she cooks. I don't even have to cook anymore. She cooks, she even, she even, uh, she even folded my clothes and washed them and and hang, hang, hang <laughs> she hung them on the on the wire thing and it's been it, like it, it hit it made me feel no nostalgic you know it gave me nostalgia i don't know if i say it properly and and it's just i'm just so grateful you know and i told myself like man come on man i need to do more you know i need to go see her i need to spend time with her you know so uh i went upstairs after seeing the guys and like i just gave her like a 20 minute massage to her feet i really i know that she really loves that i used to do it all the time when i was a kid so you know i, I want to do these things more and more and i i just want to mention that it's really important that you cherish your close ones because they're they're not going to be there forever they're not they're not going to be here forever and it makes me think about something like you know because i i run the fish business i make good sales like my mom often calls me like it's as if like she's checking up you know to see how it's going with me how it's going with the business and like i know how she feels like it it, it gives you it gives her a dopamine hit whenever I, oh, I made more sales oh i got another deal and everything and sometimes i won't lie sometimes it pisses me off when she calls me five times a day you know <laughs> but yo, i'm so ungrateful bro because i meditate on the thoughts of losing her and then I feel so sad and I feel so ungrateful and I'm telling myself that when it's gonna happen even right now like I feel I feel I feel uh, I feel cold just thinking about this you know uh, when when it's gonna happen I'm gonna I'm gonna wish that she could call me five times a day you know I'm gonna look at my phone and like wait for her to call me you know but she won't be able to you know so whenever like i feel like she's bothering me i'm just meditating on that thought and then it makes me want to talk with her and spend more time with her you know because when we think about this we see our parents as different people bro they're human beings just like you they're human beings just like you um we have we have like thought process just like them you know like we, we love to eat we love good company we love when people love us you know just like them you know so I think it's really important that we spend more time with them. And you know something that I realized when I was a kafir, I was in a haram relationship. And once my ex did something that really broke me and I, I, I snapped, I raged at her and I told her, how could you do this to me? I treated you better than I treated my mom. And when I said that, I talked to it, I said that to a friend, like I explained that to a friend and then he told me, bro, what you just said really hit me, you know? Because I did the same with my mother. I treat my girlfriend in my haram relationship better than my mother. And that is so deep because your mother cleaned your butt. <laughs> she cleaned your butt. She, 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 she cooked for you. She, she stayed up late to take care of you when you were a baby. Yes, it was a job, but she still did it. It's still good actions. It still deserved praises, right? And, and it made me realize that, man, I'm yapping so much right now. It made me realize that our parents deserve better and we always take it for granted. And it's bet it's like, I just need you, please, I need you that after this video, you just like reflect on the thought of losing them. All this to come back to the point that you need to reflect on your close ones. Whenever you take someone's presence for granted, just think about them not being there anymore and reflect on that. And your brain is automatically going to let you know what is the next thing to do. That was a yapping moment from, from waking up. I hope you have a beautiful day, a blessed day, and I hope that you enjoy those series of video videos. I really enjoy making them, and I hope that I get to inspire you by working on my different businesses, by working on my Dean, 
and by pushing forward every single day because something that I know is that there's a lot of degeneracy out there and not too much light out there. So I want to be one of the people that spreads the light so it can touch you and it can motivate you because when I was down bad, when I was in the darkness, nobody was there for me, right? Of course, family was there, but family is always busy, right? My mom, like I said, she doesn't live with me. So I was alone facing the darkness. I had friends, yeah, but my friends had their own struggles, right? And nobody taught me personal development. I had to make the research by myself. So I want to teach it to you. I want to motivate you to start taking personal development seriously. I want to show you that there's more to life than scrolling the feed. I want to show you that there's more to life than chasing women, chasing instant gratification, and delayed gratification is the best thing ever. I could go on with the yapping forever. <laughs> I couldn't stop. My brain is so like running so fast right now. But yeah, man, may Allah bless you and your family. And as always, stay consistent.